because as you're waiting to as you're waiting to come in, it says. Um, Oh, is it the, the, something about the host is waiting to greet you? Or <laughs> I thought of all the messages to get before I'm going to have a chat with you. I was getting that flashbacks. Is so funny. <laughs> Never has that Zoom message been more ominous. It was perfect for, for this. Well, I watched. I watched Superhost. I was looking. It was two weeks ago today, and I think it's definitely testament to how much I really enjoyed it, and to your performance especially that every it's everything's crystal clear about it in my mind i had a whale of a time watching it so first of all congratulations to everybody involved i loved it thank you so much it looks like as well it's i just got the vibe through it. it just looked like everybody was having a fun time while they were filming it as well what was it like on set because it's such a small cast as well it must have been you know you get to know everybody and uh, just have a good time so what was it what was it like on set there well on location i should say yeah, um, it was a really wonderful, intimate experience on set, and all of the actors were so kind and generous to me. It was really wonderful. Um, and Brandon creates a really collaborative environment. Like, you you shoot it, and then you play with it. Like, sometimes you just shoot things in a row. Like, there's shots in this movie that Brandon was just talking me to, like, talking me through, looking in at them at the window, and it become, becoming about, like, being hungry and, like, him directing me to be hungry. And, like, I started drooling. And, like, <laughs> um, just, like, an, like, animalistic tears and snot and drool going down the face in the dark. <laughs> like, shooting... Um, it was a really fun and collaborative environment, and there's so few people that just one one person's disruptive ego would have really made it a, a pretty a pretty un, un, untenable environment. And it was really um, really wonderful to work with everybody. We only had Barbara for like two days and like I think one one production day, but it was a really incredible day on set. And we hung out in my room after we're sort of out in the That's middle awesome. of nowhere on a on a mountain during a pandemic, but. Like Osric and Sarah were just so wonderful to work with. I've been lucky enough. I've interviewed Barbara twice, and oh, yeah. and and yeah, met her in person, and she is such a lovely person. She really is. And yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. There's so much I'd love to chat with you about this film, but I don't want to spoil it for the people that haven't watched it yet. But I will say there's there's one scene towards the end of the film with you and Barbara, and I I'm not going to go into what happens, but talking about having fun. That looked that looked like it was pretty fun out in the woods <laughs> with, with what with what happened. I mean, with things like that, I know from being on film sets myself because it's it's a horror film, and we know if people haven't watched it yet. You know, there's gonna you know people are gonna die, people are gonna live. There's people are gonna there's gonna be killings. There's gonna be blood. But I've always found that whenever there's blood and killings involved, they're normally the most fun of days, <laughs> and everybody has a laugh with them. So I mean. You you get your fair share of bloody experiences during the film, and you've done horror before. You, you know you're not new to all of this. What's it What's it like when you do these gory films? Well, not gory film, gory, gory scenes, I should say. That some people go, oh, that that's horrible. Where we know it's all just make believe, and it is fun on set on those days, really. Yeah, I've always loved that. And I remember I did a, a play version of Night of the Living Dead when I was in middle school, and I think oh, I wow. assistant directed it. And like we like we got all these chunks of lycra and buckets of blood. So then when there was a killing on stage, somebody would slide a bucket full of like blood lycra so that we could be ripping what just absolutely looked like flesh. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Um, I think bits of paper towel in there too. It was really gruesome. Yeah, I love working with blood and effects. And there's there's a special kind of acting on camera is always like, how do I be in the moment and mm. also be hitting my mark well? And you yeah. have to be really in your creative headspace to be able to like do all of that and make Jilla shit and also that prefrontal cortex. I'll say shit again for symmetry. Um, I didn't mean to say it for somebody. Well, and but like a shot like the oh oh gosh, how do I talk about this without it's spoiling? It's so difficult, isn't it? Oh my gosh, no, I was totally just gonna say that. Um, <laughs> uh, but there's there's like when there's a practical effect on yeah. set that is especially wonderful because they can do so much with oh, digital yeah. blood, but you can tell when it's a practical. Yeah, oh, one. definitely. Oh, and like being in charge of an effect that like. You really have that one time to make it work. Yeah. And like you have to 
I think I can say, put your knife in the right place yeah. and like carry the action through. Like you really have to sell the practical effect and then also be doing acting at the same time. I love that. That is such a rush. <laughs> That's brilliant. Did you, did you get any chance to improvise in this film at all? Or did Brandon got it all locked down from the very beginning? Yeah, I think there was some, I think there was some playing around with dialogue. Um, there was also one moment, it was like our biggest, most stressful day shooting on the mountain um, with Barbara that I I, I, I kind of went up to Brandon and was like, hey, so like this speech, like, I don't think that she would say that yet. <laughs> um, and like Brandon was like, oh my God, you're right. And like sat down at the picnic table and it's like with pencil wrote me a new speech to say, and that's what we ended Whoa. up shooting. And it was really good. <laughs> That's excellent if you can have that sort of relationship because Brendan, of course, he directed it and he wrote it as well, that you can have that relationship on set and, and change it so it's you feel more comfortable as the character too. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's I, I love that sort of um, shooting from the hip, like here's your new line stuff. <laughs> what did you think when you first read the script? Because the character of Rebecca, when you first see her, I mean, obviously, you know, she's got her own character arc and she's a different person or you you perceive her to be a different person to how she ends up at the end of the film. So what did you think when you first read the script, what attracted you about the character of Rebecca? Yeah. Um, I, first of all, I it seemed like a really considered character with really great dialogue. Um, uh, I think a lot of what first like drew me into understanding the character was the detail in the interview scene where um, I think I can say South Carolina is mentioned too many times for it to be good lying. So I was like, <laughs> okay, that lets me know, like there's been a lot of murdering psychopaths in horror history. Mm. Like what makes Rebecca different? Um, and yeah, I was reading, reading the script. It was, it was, um, so did you ask me how I related to Rebecca or what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and just what drew you to the script as well? Yeah, I think it was it was really it was the character of Rebecca and um, wanting to be able to play somebody like that. But then also that night after reading the script, watching Brandon's first two films and realizing how scary the scary thing in his movies is. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my gosh, now the next one is like that, but it has to be a human being like that is so <laughs> It's a rush. It's a real, it's like, it's a lot of pressure to like, like I'm going to trust you to be as scary as Z. And I'm like, that's a lot of pressure, but it's uh, fun yeah. pressure. <laughs> Did horror films scare you before? I've, have they ever scared you at any point when you've watched oh my them? Gosh. Yeah. I saw, I saw it's a lot of, especially old horror that my dad introduced me to like way too early. Um, <laughs> I think my dad showed me the original, like the 1968, the haunting. Oh, when I was film, like yeah. real young and I, I asked for it to be turned off. I was like, I can't handle this yet. And then like two years later, I think once I was seven or eight, I was like, I want to watch that movie that I had to turn off. Yeah. But like, I think I was, like, was really into Pit and the Pendulum as a kid. And I'm still <laughs> so fucking haunted by that movie. The last shot, I think I can spoil Pit and the Pendulum at this oh, point. Yeah, the yeah. last shot of Barbara Steele and the Iron Maiden oh, with wow, the yeah. eyes wide. And she's got the most incredible eyes and eyebrows. Just like that shot. I'm just being like six or seven being like, you're just going to leave her there? <laughs> absolutely haunting to me i also had my edgar Allan Poe phase at seven and like definitely some of those stories really like i remember reading the black cat um and then realizing i had like a stuffed cat that i tied yarn around the neck as a leash and just like i just remember in my childhood bed just like staring at that stuffed cat and i was like am i the evil one oh, no. <laughs> Has that feeling gone now? Because, you know, you've been in the horror genre, you've been in, you know, enough horror projects and you've seen it from the inside and how it's all created. Has, has that feeling completely gone now or does anything still give you the chills a little bit? No, it's, it's the, the like, this is pretend thing is maybe a little off in my brain, which is um, professionally advantageous for me a little bit. But like, like going to Comic-Con now, like, I'm like, I know that this is a person dressed as a zombie, but my body is like that is a zombie like <laughs> um i feel like sometimes violence and stuff is a little ruined but um no it still gets me like i was just re like i just started reanimator and i was like okay i can't actually like we can't eat indian food to this <laughs> like, absolutely not like this is impressive makeup and it's still really viscerally upsetting like i can i i can have done these crazy um uh, special effects makeup things as an actor and still see them and go like Ugh. yeah yeah <laughs> And because because you're the antagonist in this, and again, it's such a small cast, there must have been a bit of pressure because 
everybody watching this as, as horror fans, they always love, you know, the antagonist in it, the, you know, whoever is going to be the bad person in the movie. Did you feel the pressure that this horror fan's going to be watching it and they're going to go, oh, is, is she going to deliver on this role? Is she going to be good? Yeah, um, I think that hit me after. There was, I, I, I feel like there's even moments I could have thought about the audience a little more, um, but I was really trying to honor the character. <laughs> Um, like all of like all of the comedy came from just like Rebecca's survival instinct. Uh, <laughs> like there's a yeah. Um, it, it, I guess it is a lot of pressure, but that's not what I was thinking about on set. I was really just thinking about like how do I? Well, I don't know. I was I thought that I was doing a thing that I would find scary. Yeah. Um, but I was also just really trying to be like, how do I balance being a good horror villain with really playing the psychological state of this character? Well, you pull it off wonderfully because you do go through, you, you know, you meet and you think, oh, Rebecca, she's just this host and she's lovely. And then through, even through just little facial expressions, looks that you give, movements that you do, and then you think, oh, maybe not all that she seems. And then and then when you go pure on evil, oh, my word, it's you really are. It's such a memorable character that, uh, and we know, again, I don't want to spoil anything, but we do know in horror films, Characters die, they come back. Characters live and they come back and so on. And you must have been asked this so many times already, surely. But I'm sure there's a big audience that wants to see the character of Rebecca in another film too. That would be awesome. Um, people have definitely asked me about that in like yeah. prequel or sequel. And um, I I have a great relationship with Rebecca's backstory because I thought about it all the time on set. <laughs> I would love to do a prequel. <laughs> I love people. Things... I don't know how much longer she has before she's captured. Like that's the thing. Like I don't think she's. Um, maybe, maybe I don't want to underestimate Rebecca, but I feel like she's got like maybe six kills before she gets caught. <laughs> yeah, she does seem. She doesn't really care, does she? What she does is just just go just goes with it. Yeah, like it's like all the like all the stuff at the beginning is like her being analytical. Like it's the lag of what is the expectation and like how much do I do? And they're like laughing a little too hard because like you you discovered laughing and it seemed like it works, so like you do it too long. Like this, like that analytical social lag. Um, but then once it's like the adrenaline kicks in, like that's when she's actually really fucking feeling things and alive. Is once yeah. like now we're okay, okay. You said the thing. Now I guess I have to kill everybody. <laughs> Well, I don't, already the time is ticking away and I know you're really busy doing the interviews and I could talk to you for, for much longer. Um, hopefully I will get the chance in the future. But again, congratulations to everybody involved in Superhost. I loved it. You were fantastic in it. And yeah, I hope to see you uh, in many more things in the future. So all the best Thanks for the future. Me. All right. Thanks, Gracie. Thanks.